Hi, welcome to my channel and last time I was talking to you guys about um, the first two years of my husband and I trying to conceive and um, since then I've gotten a few subscribers so I just want to say thank you guys for um, joining me on my journey and supporting me. Um, it really, really does mean a lot. Um, so this video is going to be catching you all up on what's been going on more recently and so uh, last time I left you off um, with um, me going to an OBGYN, her saying um, that I need to go to a fertility specialist and me calling around um, on that and finally going. So I haven't told you about the fertility specialist appointments yet so that's where I'm going to um, start off. If you haven't watched the first video, go watch it now and then you can watch this one. Um, so. My first appointment with the fertility, fertility specialist um, was more like a consultation. He wanted to do a ultrasound as well, but first we talked about everything that I basically told you guys in the first video, and basically he told me that the only options, well not the only options, the options going forward would be to check the ovaries and the uterus and then also the tubes so um i also talked to him about clomid and he confirmed what uh the first doctor had told me what about how if i am ovulating regularly regularly um that clomid you know wouldn't really help me that much so um, that there wasn't really anything to do um, that medications could do so you know that was obviously disappointing to hear again because I really felt like that was what I needed obviously I'm not a doctor but it just seemed like you know I'm not getting pregnant it doesn't seem like anything's wrong based on my cycle so you know I just felt like medication was the only thing that was going to be able to help me um, so he did the ultrasound, uterus and ovaries and eggs looked good. He said, you know, they looked healthy, I had plenty of them, so um, from there he said, you know, I really think that we should do it in HSG. And if you don't know what that is, um, that is where they do, they put dye inside and use an x-ray to see if there's any like if the dye stops anywhere so like if not that there's no blockages you'll see like the uterus and the tubes um and if there is you know you'll see like that there is no like it doesn't flow like it'll stop somewhere and you won't see all three of those things so um uh, i got really lucky because i happened to go to the first appointment around a good time to do the HSG so once they got back to me that night about how much it was going to be they actually scheduled me the next day to come back and do the HSG and I was excited I was like okay so you know we're getting somewhere we're starting to figure out maybe if there is an issue and I hadn't prepared myself like I really thought that it was going to come back and I was going to be normal everything was going to look normal and I mean, I didn't know what to expect after that, but I was just happy that we were going to be finding out information. So, um, yeah, I went in for the appointment and um, he did the thing. It was very painful to me. Um, I didn't take any medication, like pain reliever or anything I didn't think it was going to hurt I heard that it was uncomfortable but I didn't I never heard that it actually hurt so I didn't take anything I actually didn't even think about taking anything so I recommend if you're getting ready to have that done take some like ibuprofen or, you know something that will help with the pain um, just in case it does hurt you I, I've heard both sides like some people it does hurt and some people it doesn't so it really did hurt me so I was laying there, um, you know, I was watching the x-ray screen and I was looking at it and you know, if I expected anything bad, I was expecting the right tube to be blocked because 
um, you know, that's the, the side that I had the ectopic on. And so I'm like thinking, well, that's the side I had the surgery on. So the chances of there being scar tissue and things to block it are probably higher than my left tube. So I was lying there, I was watching the screen, and I could clearly see that the dye was going on one side and not the other side. So I asked him, I was like, well, I guess, and I pointed to the side that was not, but it looked blocked, and I said, well, I guess that's my right tube, and he was like, no, that's your left tube. <laughs> So my left tube is completely blocked um, and my right tube, um, he said that it was probably not very open because he had to push the dye through really hard. So um, he said that it wasn't going through at all at first, um, which would make sense because I did get pregnant on that side and it was ectopic. So there has to be some kind of opening a little bit, but not enough for the... Um, for the egg and you know the fertilized egg to actually come back out into the uterus so that explains a lot and um that happened in january and of course i was completely devastated i completely was not prepared at all for that result and i called my best friend crying you know i got home told my husband everything I was crying <laughs> So it was really disappointing to get that result. Um, and so from there, he basically told me that, uh, you know, either surgery or IVF were my options. So I have had, you know, a lot of decisions to be thinking about. And um, I'm also, I'm going to, you know, make that a separate video about, you know, the plan moving forward. So um, thanks for watching. Um, I don't want to make my videos too long. I know that they can get, you know, a little long-winded. Um, so I do want to kind of separate, you know, the things out. But that's where I am right now, IVF or surgery. And I have made that decision and I will let you all know shortly. I waited way too long for this video and I really, I plan on not letting those the time between videos get too long so um if you have any other questions for me or your experience with H the hsg test um comment down below and you know i look forward to um, making my next video and uh hearing your all's stories so i will talk to you later bye